right, good morning, Cadre. So, uh, yeah, figured I'd do a video this morning. <clears throat> it is my day off, but I was up at 5 a.m. <clears throat> but the reason for that it is a pretty good reason because I had to throw a bone in pork shoulder on the smoker for dinner tonight. Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, know, you guys got like 12 hours roughly. Uh, show up or miss out. <laughs> uh, let's see, so today is shave 7 on my 3017. I am averaging a shave every other day. It's not quite hitting that way right now, but I don't know how you guys who shave daily and have kids do it, because it just don't happen, at least not right now. Maybe once they're a little older. But anyway, get this going here. Um, yeah, so I was up at five on a day off, but I got the pork shoulder and the smoker by six. And decided to go ahead and get a shower and shave in, because why not? I'm the only one up. I'm not falling back asleep now. So, do this. Go fix myself a cup of coffee here in a minute. I have a nice quiet morning for a little bit. Alright, that looks good. So, not being, like, no, I enjoy college football, but I'm not, like, huge, huge, like, gonna watch all the games kind of fan, um, but I spaced. The championship game was last night. However, I saw the score this morning, so congrats to uh, Dangerous Don for his Tigers apparently destroying Clemson. sure he is very excited. Hmm. Beyond that, I am very behind on the cadre right now. Um, had a kind of a busy weekend. Just trying to make sure the house was uh, not a total disaster zone for when my wife got home on Sunday. <clears throat> Which I think was a pretty good success. Uh, I don't think I really need any more water on this. This is looking pretty good. Start flying everywhere if I do. Um, yeah. So, razor today. I'm just going to go with a new long comb, or sorry, new short comb. Um, I don't actually, I think it might be a Gillette Silver Blue in here. I don't remember how many shades are on it, and I don't remember if that's actually what the blade is. So, either way. So I'm not really sure what all we got going on with Padre from the last few days. Um, i try to catch up a little bit this morning with my coffee. Hopefully everybody's doing well. Uh, 
My wife did make it home safe on Sunday. So the kids are much happier having her home. <clears throat> and so am I. I guess, oh, I guess I didn't really have that much to talk about this morning, <laughs> but, um, <clears> the <throat> 17s, I mean, I'm still very much enjoying the soap, so that's not a worry at all, um, granted I'm only seven shades in, which is like, you know, just over 10% of the potential shades in this thing, uh, according to one person, so. We'll see. I will be doing some cheat days. Coming up. Uh, I want to for sure get at least seven shapes, maybe more, on this puck before I start doing any of those, though. Um, two of them are going to be Trying out the Parson soaps, beta one and two, and then uh, I think it won't be just another week or two, and I'll have the uh, Dragon's Beard soap pass around showing up. So, I might be going over my quote unquote four cheat jays that we kind of put in there, but it's for. Special reason, so I don't really mind. But I'm gonna be going right back to the soap, so. <clears throat> I'm definitely looking forward to both of those, though. Sounds like people have enjoyed both that have tried them already. think as far as the parson soaps go I think John said that they benefit best from being treated like a mug soap so what I might do is get the samples pressed into something and then I might do a few just test lathers before I do any actual shades with it. <clears throat> Make sure I'm getting the best possible lather out of it I can. Uh, and then shade with it. So that the little sample has a chance to get hydrated and... Show me its peak performance, because I'll probably test them out with a straight razor. It's kind of my main test for any soap is does it work well with a straight razor? Because if the answer is no, it is not gonna be in my shade. Didn't.
Sorry guys for the uh, quieter shooting. I thought I was going to think of more things to talk about, but apparently minus the coffee, my brain's just not running on all cylinders yet. Plus that, I guess that means it's going to be a shorter video. I'm less likely to get distracted while I'm shaving. Just talk too much. But yeah, a couple of cool pass arounds coming my way in the near ish future. Um, besides the dragon's beard, I got uh, John's, I think it was the Enoch, and then I think he also threw in like the Orin and Aluminum General or something like that. So, three SC razors. Uh, AC style SE razors to try out. <clears throat> so far, all I've tried are uh, a couple of like straight razor shave it style AC razors and uh, the Vector, which I mean, the Vector gave me a great shave. It's just a couple of things about it that weren't really for me. I know, weird, everybody loves the Vector. And I understand why people would do that here. It's just doing the price tag and the fact that there were just a couple of little things that weren't ideal when I used it. Just not worth it for me. If I'm going to pay that much for a razor, it's going to be like the be all end all razor for me. But yeah, um, I'm sure there's more stuff going on in the copier right now and I just got to catch up on, so I'll be doing that here shortly. Oh yeah, that was the other day I'm going to say. So in regards to smoking, um, you know, I've had this Bluetooth thermometer <clears throat> that I've used for several years. 
Well, it's a Maverick ready check. And apparently, it is no longer working with my phone because I, my phone last, I haven't used it in a while. So uh, when my phone upgraded to Android 10, apparently the app is no longer supported on that and they don't have an update for it or a replacement app for it or anything like that. So I can no longer use that function of my smoking thermometer. Which is kind of a bummer. So it was nice to be able to keep an eye on temperatures without having to run outside every five minutes. <clears throat> but my uh, PID controller I, can, I built seems to work really well anyway. So I don't have to worry about the smoker temp. I just got to make sure I keep an eye on the finish temp when I know I'm getting close. We are doing Club Man for the aftershave today. Oh yeah. Feeling that alcohol. Alright. Well, I guess it didn't end up being all that short of a video, but either way, uh, yeah, so, uh, if you're not catching us on the Cadre, catching us on YouTube or wherever, um, come check us on the Cadre, www.jmcadre.com. I'm UA Cowboy. Catch you guys later.